word technology mean to you? For some people, it's all about computers. For others, it's tools and machines. Our modern world relies on technology. Phones, cars, refrigeration, cameras, and of course, computers. They're all examples of the technology that we use in our social and working lives. They all help us to complete a task effectively. In each employment area, there's specific technology related to the occupation. You'll learn about this in your TAFE course or on the job itself. Having other general technological skills can give you an advantage in the job market. So think about the following suggestions. Think about how each skill might be used in your industry and plan to develop the important ones. Here are some commonly expected technology skills. Driving. Driving is a skill required by many jobs. There are many different types of licensing from cars and motorbikes to heavy vehicles. You can find out more about the different types of licensing from Vic Roads. They also have a very informative website. We've got uh, one guy, Ken, Ken Mullinson, for instance, who now uh, came to us a couple of years ago as a driver. He'd had various jobs. Um, classic sort of uh, guy we like to see. Young family, mortgage, has to go to work, has to get up on a Monday morning. Um, but he came just as a, as a driver. Uh, he developed his skills uh, through working with the Gordon, uh, warehouse management, all that sort of stuff that was involved and, and waste handling and stuff. Uh, now we're looking him to put him into management ourselves. We're bringing him through. It's given us the uh, ability, the education system has given us the ability to be able to uh, promote from within, which is, which is a really good way of doing business for us. When we usually have to go out to the marketplace to get uh, management, particularly, we have to t spend a lot of time uh, investing uh, money, time, effort into teaching them how, how to do the job. Whereas if we can promote from within, the knowledge that they've received by going through the system, it makes that job so much easier. Yeah, yeah, oh, hang on, hang on. What? No, I said the... I, hang on. Another skill required by many employers is telephoning. Brands of telephones are slightly different, but if you know how to use the main features of your own, it will be simpler to learn the same features in another brand. When you buy a new phone, ask the sales assistant to show you how its features work. The manual for the phone will have more detailed information. Most manuals are also available online. You should at least know how to use voicemail and fast dial on a landline and voicemail and texting on a, on a mobile phone. Using a telephone is not just about the technology. The way you communicate is important too. Have a look at the Telephone Etiquette Guide for good advice on language and procedures. Technology use can also mean calculators. Being able to use the main functions on a calculator is vital in some jobs and handy in many others. Search for your brand of calculator on the internet or use the Texas Instruments online tutorials to brush up your skills. Other general technology skills that can be useful for particular jobs. A mechanic might use a digital camera to show the stages of restoring a car. Retail workers might display product information using DVD recorders. Think of the technology you can use already and consider whether it could be used at work. With regards to qualifications themselves, um, it's, the qualifications themselves is not that important, but to me it is the fact that they've actually taken the time to um, put time into their own professional development and uh, then and see through uh, a year or two years or four years to be able to get that uh, diploma or degree or whatever it is that they're after. So um, having the piece of paper not that important, but knowing that the person has got enough pride in themselves to be able to go out and get that, then yeah, that definitely is. It's a sign of commitment. And in the IT industry, once you've got your uh, your tertiary qualifications, you then have additional accreditations that you have to get and keep up to date and keep you know 
so we have many professional points per year to, to stay accredited. So yeah, it's an ongoing thing. We've got a number of guys here who are Microsoft accredited. Um, the company itself is uh, Microsoft accredited and part of that is having um, a, a, a team of engineers who uh, have got so many points between them. To get that accreditation you must have so many employees with so many um, points in different areas. So uh, yeah, accreditation is important for our business to, uh, to maintain that uh, Microsoft partnership.